Leadership is not uh, only, I would say, that you lead uh, the masses, crowds, or nations. Uh, leadership means uh, that uh, you don't conform yourself with something what uh, uh, you feel is entirely wrong. Leadership means the courage to speak up. Leadership is about being able to really represent what people's needs and people's concerns are. So I believe that listening gives strength to leadership. Some people believe that listening weakens, means weakness. I don't believe it at, at all. If I had to sum up the qualities in one word, that word is purpose. I mean, if you don't know why you're there and what you're doing and where you're leading other people, they're certainly not going to follow you. Political leaders need strong convictions. If you don't have values, then politics is just uh, uh, tactics or power. And I think politics should always serve an idea. I think the most important thing, though, is to believe strongly in something. You cannot stay outside. You cannot be an observer. You need to follow your beliefs, your ideas, and, and you need to do as much as you can to be able to achieve it, not for yourself, for the people that you are responsible or that you are committed to. You know, in politics, you pay one heck of a price taking the blows, the slings and arrows that are constantly being pointed in your direction. It's not easy. Lord Mandelson knows more than most about being a target, having been twice forced to resign cabinet posts. The adversarial nature of politics, you're constantly being confronted by your critics uh, or people who want to you know, impede you or whether they're in front of you or behind you. Just one month ago, many of the men seated around the table were outcasts disgraced, persecuted for bucking the system. The leaders are not those who simply pretend that uh, they don't have weaknesses. I think that big points are what make leaders uh, leaders if they can deal with these vulnerabilities in the right manner. By tomorrow morning, some of those same men will be cabinet ministers. You have to maintain your integrity, your truthfulness, but sometimes you have to adapt you know, how you're going about something. You have to move sometimes in a more crab-like way rather than a direct, forefrontal way in order to take another route to where you want to arrive at. Now, that's how I saw Lincoln. I have a great admiration for President Lincoln. He decided that slavery uh, cannot be accepted because it's against the dignity of the human being. He was a man with a lot of courage. Probably he was not understood in many things he thought, but he really fought for what he believed in. A humble, honest man, but so committed and courageous. Power is communicative strategy, the ability to act in concert, the ability to generate power uh, by being uh, able uh, to get uh, others uh, to your side and not just to impose on them something with the use of your weapons, whatever uh, these weapons are. That is the art and skill of politics. Clear goals, strong conviction, but pragmatic and realistic in how you achieve your ends. That's what he stood for. And finally, uh, he won.